Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There, good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. Dashi to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashi. I'll head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the guppy. Oh no. <laughs> captain, come in, Captain. <laughs> Many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers! <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am. You actually live up here? Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, now you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually, I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Hello! But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Ooh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Hey, sir, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <laughs> a tree lobster! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them! Listen to this! 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! Oh. A baby tree lobster! I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. <laughs> Yow! He's getting away! <laughs> Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship! We have to catch him, Captain. Sound the octo alert! Octonauts to the H. Uh, no, um, Octonauts to the launch. Um, follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it! Ha-ha! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen! Watch out, vegetables! It up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. Huh? Look out, look out. Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Kip. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. Oh, you mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Oh. Hold on, little fella. <laughs> Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... Whoa. I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Hey, goodbye. Goodbye. Come back soon now. <laughs> Um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Octonauts. <laughs> 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 Uh-oh. 
Captain, rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashy, activate steering wheel. All clear, Captain. Thanks, Dashy. Should be smooth sailing ahead. Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> <laughs> How to Pilot the Octopod, 3rd edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh. All right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. <laughs> All clean, me hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cone snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, yeah! ah! oh, yeah. <sighs> I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh... What's going on out here? <gasps> Me, oh my. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, see? Ooh. <gasps> <Phew>. Oh! <gasps> Leave me alone, will ya? Um. Uh, huh. Huh. <gasps> Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo shoots. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh. Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. 
How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. <laughs> hmm. He must be in the vents. Right. I'm going after him. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, watch it. What's the big idea? Captain, you did it! Good. Oh no, you were stung. Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be. Oh dear. What's happening? Uh, ships entering the roaring 40s. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain. You're uh, too weak. Oh. Oh, yes, somebody has to pilot the ship, and that person is you, Peso. Me? <laughs> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crevectomies in the frozen Arctic. Oh. Those are medic skills, and I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. All right. Um, autopilot off. Activate steering wheel and turn on the octolift. to the steering wheel. Uh-oh. Big rock. What do I do? It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash. Keep one hand on the wheel. Use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. <laughs> engage rudder? Whoa! Maybe I can do this. What do I do? Rocks and rough waters. It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can. On ship, Peso's in danger. Uh, must hold on. Uh, uh, clippers. Uh, we're out of the roaring forties. I did it. Now to switch the ship back to autopilot. To check on my patience. Hey, so look out, cone snail. Huh? Hey, so I'm, I'm all right. Wow, the ship's manual really did come in handy in more ways than one. Sorry for all the trouble. I was scared, see, and I was only trying to protect myself, see? No hard feelings, eh? No, just a bit of a sore paw. Tweak, open the octo hatch so our cone snail friend can go free. Sure thing, Cap. See you later, see? Bye bye. 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 Whee! Peso, I was very proud of you today. You saved the ship. I'm just glad everyone's feeling better. Uh. You might want to tell that to the vegetables, matey. <laughs> I'm fine. Captain, 
Are you there? Come in, Dashy. There's a dangerous storm approaching, and there's going to be a lot of lightning. And when lightning strikes the ocean, the electricity spreads out through the water near the surface. So even if it doesn't hit you directly, you can still get set. Thanks for the warning. I'm heading to deeper waters right now. Barnacles out. Whoa, I've been hit. Whoa, a manatee. More manatees. Well, man, what's the hurry? Time for an emergency landing. Whoa! Make that a crash landing! Phew. Huh? Yeah! Um, giant clam, I think you have something that belongs to me, and I'm gonna need it back. In that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> This could take a while. Uh-oh, sounds like more lightning. And it's heading straight for those manatees. Time to sound the octo oh. Huh. Ah. oh, can't uh, quite reach. Aha, a sticky limpet. And a little seaweed. Uh, yeah. Bullseye. <laughs> Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the lightning storm is heading straight for a herd of manatees. We need to get them to safety. Are you with the manatees now, Captain? Um, not exactly, Peso. I'm sort of, um, stuck. Uh, doing something else at the moment. But I'll guide the mission from here. The lightning storm's picking up speed, Captain. Keep tracking it, Dashy. Everyone, let's move those manatees to deeper water. Captain, wait. Go ahead, Shellyfish. I mean, uh, Shellington. Uh, I mean, Shellington. The manatees breathe air, Captain. They can only be underwater for a few minutes before they need to take a breath. So, the manatees will need to be moved somewhere they can breathe. Then we'd better lead them back to the Outropod. The Outropod? I meant to say, get all those manatees inside the octopod now. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the cups. Yow! Whoa, I'm digging this air today. You said it, man. Nothing beats a little fresh air. Captain, we've arrived on the scene. Good. Then get those manatees moving. Aye, aye, Captain. Tunip, come in. Super couple. Tunip, the manatees will need something to eat. Gather as much sea grass as you can and bring it to the launch bo- uh oh Super? Uh, nothing to worry about, Tunip. Just get the sea grass. Hmm. Hmm. Hungry barracudas. i better make myself invisible. Ahoy, manatees! There's a dangerous lightning storm approaching. We're here to lead you to safety. Sure thing, man. No problem. We're happy to go with that flow. Everybody climb onto a gup and we'll drive you down to the octopod. Here we go. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. They're moving very slowly. Oi, how do they ever catch any fish to eat? Fish? No way, man. We're vegetarians. We only eat plants. We never have to chase after our food, so we like to do things nice and easy. Huh. Come in, Captain. Go ahead, Quasi. This is going to be trickier than we thought. The manatees are really slow. And they're a little disorganized. Well, you've got to get them organized. Line the manatees up and get them onto the gups one by one. Gotta go. I'm sure I saw something shiny around here. Shiny, 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 shiny. The lightning's getting closer. 
We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub D with Dashy. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. Hi. Climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. Don't worry. We'll be right back. Come on, mateys! To the octopod! Shiny! Shiny! Like there's only one way out of this. <laughs> Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work, ah, Peso. The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear, Captain. I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know. It's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? Yes! It is! No! I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface, and call me when you get there. Oh. My air tank is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man! Captain, we've arrived at the surface. Good. Now flip the Gupti over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. <laughs> I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah! 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 Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. This is far out, man. Good. Now let's go. Almost empty. Captain, it worked! The last manatee is safe! <laughs> Captain? <laughs> Captain, are you all right? <laughs> <sighs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm cool, man. Captain, the storm is passing. Thanks, Dashy. Now all the manatees can be released. Tweak, open the octo hatch. So long, manatees. Bye bye. Come on, guys. Let's go breathe some fresh air. That's some nice air. Good work today, everyone. But what about you, Captain? Yeah, what happened down there? Oh, let's see. I was uh, struck by lightning, eaten by a giant clam, stung by a jellyfish, attacked by barracudas, escaped on the back of a blue whale, smashed into a shipwreck, freed myself, ran out of air, and, uh, oh, yeah, found you. Oh, man. Yeah, pulling me poor. Manity flippers. So quasi. Look at this video coming in from Dashy. 
She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, whoa. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. No, oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rough of the water, the calm of the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh. Dad, oh no! Just keep calm and blend in. Uh, uh. Well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. Hmm, looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed! <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time! Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. <gasps> the other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys. I'm about to cook up some pirate stew. Now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate. <laughs> Duck! Chop! a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor? <gasps> Leafy sea dragons! I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gut, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashie, you take the sick bay. 
Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi, stop that stew! Quasi! Jump! To the kitchen! Jump! Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gap E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Gotcha! You're safe now! Whoa, thank you! Don't worry, little fellas! I've got your dad! Dad! You're safe! I'm coming, boys! I'm just fine! Oh, my! It's good to be back home with my boys! Oh, we've all had quite an adventure! Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys. Let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> 